Thursday Thunder. It's two in a row for me. Yeah. Trump Thunder. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we got to talk about Trump. Sure. Everyone, everyone's talking about Trump. I, I oh my god, get into your bomb shelters. I thought that him running was a joke. Like, and everyone's like, oh, this is a funny joke. All right. and here's, here's my theory, right? Here's, and we'll see it after a year. I think Trump will either be a brilliant prime president because he's a businessman. Mm -hmm. He doesn't take shit from anyone, and I don't think he'll take shit from anyone. Mm -hmm. You know, even in his own party. But him as a president now, he has to be brought under control in a bit. And his after speech showed that. You know, he, I, I he's so actually, actually, it was very good. It was he, a lot better. And they realised that, alright, now you're president, you need to stop your stupid rhetoric, stop being racist, etc. But that being aside, alright, so I think he's, he'll either be a really, really good president, or within the, within the next, exactly right, in the next year, someone is going to blow him away on the side of the street somewhere when he's getting out of a car or whatever. I reckon that's probably it. Yeah. Because America's... Third option, which is most unlikely, is that he will be such a dickhead that they'll impeach him. Have they done that before? They've done that with Richard Nixon. Yeah. Back in the early 70s. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So there you go. I wonder if they're going to build a wall. <laughs> it's... Yeah, I wonder if he's now sitting back going, shit, shit. I gotta build a wall. <laughs> We're gonna get to build this wall. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be interesting. I've got a lot of American friends on my But the other thing it goes to show you that one, polls don't mean nothing. Mm. You know, they're all carrying on, oh the polls show that Hillary's gonna win. Two, the media can manipulate anything to make it seem and and it depends on who they interview. If they selectively interview people, and I don't think they interviewed people in the heartland of America who are struggling and suffering under Obama mm -hmm. and want that change. Yeah. And then I think also, the majority of Americans who supported Trump were embarrassed to say it publicly. So when they were in the privacy of their booth, they went Trump. But when they were outside, they go, oh, no, Trump's an idiot. I'm not going to vote for him. So, they must have been so there you go. But it's interesting how so many people, especially on my news feed, oh. are like American political experts. Well, I know nothing about American politics. <laughs> no. Anyway, interesting. It sure was. was the it? Simpsons predicted it. No, now that's a false. Is that's, it? That's, that's that's false. I thought they had like, and it was the same like. No, no, no. no. So some that episode that. of Trump going down the escalator yeah, yeah. was done after Trump announced that he's running for the front presidency. Oh, right. So it's actually, that's a fallacy. So don't believe that. Oh, yeah. Alright. Well, there you go. That's right. It's starting to come out that there's a few people and, and, and uh, I think even Simpsons people said that. Oh, yeah, no, 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 that's, that's a fallacy. The things you learn on Thursday Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. Um, Let's get to this. No, 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 we'll get to that. We'll, oh. we'll, talk, we'll talk our shit first. All right. Let's go. Bodybuilding, bodybuilding since, news. Since you're a little longer. There's not that much news now because all the comp season is finished. Yeah. But um, I just showed you just a minute ago, Aaron, Aaron Curtis. Yeah. He put up an interesting picture, which I didn't even realise that in 2010 at the IMBA Australian titles, Aaron <laughs> competed in the oval overall against uh, Callum Von Ogle. Mm. Ari can cure a picture. Yeah. 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 So yeah, Ari, I'll tell you where that picture is. We'll look it up on Aaron Curtis's page. Yeah. So here's a, um, Callum won the overall, and um, Callum won the teenage. And um, Aaron just has a little interesting story of how he met this huge guy backstage who said hello to him, you know, and how did I miss him in the lineup? It ended up he won the teenage title. Was that the year that Aaron Curtis was using that pre workout supplement? I think it was the following year, I'm not sure. Yeah. It's not far away from that. Yeah. Yeah. Callum's but yeah, so there was an interesting photo. There's a picture of Aaron with Callum. And yeah, cue the picture Ari again. Uh, so yeah, that was interesting. The, I, the IMBA has spread a number of IFBB big, you know, you've got Callum now and Big Josh. I can remember judging Josh uh, at the Nimba show mm. and thinking, wow, this guy's got a great future. <laughs> there we go. Um, all right, in other news, which I thought was interesting, mm. the IFBB has changed their ruling on pro athletes, mm. meaning that the 
pros, IFBB pros can now guest pose at non-IFBB shows. What do you reckon brought that broad change? Money? Yeah, I reckon, like I was saying, I think someone may be threatened to sue the IFBB for breach of trade. Well, as a pro, you don't really make any money. No, and you make money guest posing yeah. and doing seminars. And if the IFBB was restricting that to only IFBB shows, it was technically a breach of trade mm. or earnings. So, Although I don't know. They, they I think do. it's a good rule anyway. Yeah, I think yeah. It's good for the pros. They're now free to travel the world and they can guest pose yeah. anywhere. Yeah that's, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I can understand the thing about them not competing in any shows except IFBB pros. You're an IFBB pro, so you do that. But yeah. I think uh, they can now do seminars. What, exposure? Yeah, I think it's good for everyone, including the IFBB. Um, Kevin Lebron, he put up a video a couple of days ago. Was it Shaboom? Sh Shaboom. Yeah. yeah, but no, he was. Stop it. It's the table. <laughs> he was looking large. He has. He's still good. Yeah, and he's still training, and he's still training, I think, and he's implying the intention to compete. Has his legs come back up? Well, he reckons he has, especially now there's been two months, he reckons, of training on his quads. That's good. Which he couldn't do before the Olympia. That was the only thing that really, like, well, he still needs to get bigger, but his legs were shit. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty ballsy to run on the Olympia stage. He's anything. got walls. <laughs> yeah, so... But um, yeah, he's still looking big, he's still looking lean. Yeah. He hasn't blown out. So it'll be interesting to see. Now, I have heard rumors that he's gonna be competing at a um, early IFBB show. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, um, like Arnold's or something? I don't think he'd be. Uh, Just a normal. One of the small, maybe satellite pros around the I've got the them place. every weekend. So That's yeah. right. Yeah, next year, apparently, that he's just about every weekend. Yeah. But you're a pro show, so I suppose you should have that chance. Yeah, that's true. Um, all right, we'll finish up our news and gossip on, it's 164 days to the Adelaide Classic. Sweet. What's the actual dates on again? Uh, April 23rd. Cool. Lock it in your diary. So, here. season eight um, is well and truly underway, so. We should do another seminar on, on the... Yes, we will. We'll have a seminar early next year. Yep. Uh, especially there's a couple of changes that uh, Inver South Australia will be implementing. We should do it like 20 weeks out. Yeah, I think we'll do it right at the beginning of the year. That sounds yeah. good. People are already asking me for it, so mm. uh, we'll have news on that early in the year. So it'll be sometime in January or December. That'll be good. Before everyone starts their prep. So 164 days, get on to it. Yeah, uh, well, I can get it in the classic this year. Mm. Oh, great time. Do you mind the show? Should be good. All right, so what's new in products? Here we go. So this is. We've been waiting for these from Maxis for a little while. I've known about them for a little while. Yeah, they've been teasing us and giving us a little bit of information. Yeah. So, let's get into it. I love it. Um, all right, here we go. Start with The gear. The gear, yeah. <laughs> this caused a bit of controversy on uh, on social media. With them. Oh, of course. But look, I think it's, I, think, I don't see any problem with the name. No. Yeah, people get all up in arms about it, but I mean, it really tells you what the product is, and it's a test booster. Yeah. Now, good thing about these formulas is they're good, reliable formulas Maxis have done. Nothing crazy, nothing outrageous. Good ingredients. So you've got your test booster. It's got anti-estrogen properties with it. Uh, you're looking at, a, they say, in the serving size of six capsules <coughs> a day, three and three. Yep. Uh, so, and they're very well priced at $69.95. Yeah, that price point's really good. That's right. It's a good price point. So if you're looking to change up or try something Australian, new, Australian brand test. Yes, yeah, exactly right. Next, the good thing with I like Australian Australian brands because it, what's in it is in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Pretty well. Um, the fat burner. TDX. What TDX? TDX. 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 Fat burner. Supercharge your metabolism. Increase energy levels. Incinerate body fat. There's 90 capsules. Uh, it's one a day. It's just, and yeah, take only this 325 milligrams of caffeine per capsule. Which is a, that's a bit, fair bit of caffeine. Yeah, so really, one a day formula. If you're training, take it before training. You could, uh, on your non-training days, I would just take it maybe mid-morning to... 60 milligrams of L-carnitine. Yep. So it's got all your, uh, your carnitines, uh, your caffeine, 
nice and oh, that stuff gives you the hot flushes. It tingles. Yeah, but there's only a sm there's only a, a small dose. Sorry, yeah, sorry. but the 20 milligrams. 20 milligrams. Yeah, yeah, that's enough to give you a little bit of tingle. So if you take this and you feel that you get a little bit red blotchiness, it's just the niacin. It's it's normal. Exactly. In fact, some people use niacin before they go on on stage. Um, bodybuilding shows. That's right. Because it increases that blood flow. And and it does and insulin sensitivity. Right. It prevents the conversion of fat. So 90 serves. So for well, sixty nine ninety five, and it's you get ninety serves. That's three months. Right? Three months. Three months. Shit, that's pretty damn good. Yeah. So yeah, excellent. Now I used these last yeah, night. Yeah, that's so your favourite. Yeah, that you were telling me about that. And yeah, I think this is these are a really good form. We'll go with the creatine, creatine first. Then. Yeah. So creobol, even the name, it's like dime. Yeah, dimebol, creobol. So Cre basically, it's your creatine in a capsule. So the the benefit is over a powder. That might need these in a capsule. Yep. So you don't have to worry about powders and things like that. It's a blend of creatine, a gluconate, malate, and creatinyl phosphate. Four capsules as a serve. Yep. Take it before training. That's right. It's also got a little bit of nitric oxide formula added to it. Uh, your citrulline and your betaine and and a full electrolyte balance. Yeah. Your vitamin C, your potassium, sodium, calcium, etc. Magnesium. Small magnesium, yeah, yeah. Yep. And this is their Vaso D, which is then as the name says, your pump formula. That, yeah. Yep. So basically, this here contains some of these ingredients. Opposite to this product is then this is contains a high volume of those same um, nitric oxide formulas, mm -hmm. your citrine, malate, your betaines, etc. Well, I train chest. So last combining night. the two together would yeah. be phenomenal. I combine the two. It was, yeah. it was a nice little color in my hand, red and yellow. It feels like these are yellow. It's right. like a red. But yeah, I had a sick pump. I'm sore in my chest today from it. Like it was just like I felt like I had like tits. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to grab one of each of these because I think this is a really, really good pre oh. pre workout formula, especially if you want a non stimulant type pre workout. This formula. is all I use. Just this like combination is going to be nuts. Mm. I reckon. And I think they've gone they've gone above and beyond with the packaging. They look good. Yep. Like that's really eye catching. And, just, and it's it's 200 capsules. Yeah. You know? So there's a good, good amount of serves in there, and you're looking at 59.95. Yeah, that's that's good. Mm. So and that's good. The, well, so then if you're only using it once a day, 50 capsules, 50 servings in it, shit. So that's that's it's really right. good for only 59.95. Well, a normal pre-workout is only 30 day, 30 day serve. Pretty well. Yep. Well, so excellent. So this is an excellent formulation. All of their products. So check them out. They're all available now. They're all Australian muscle stores and, and here at the gym. Uh, online? Online. Free with, delivery. Free delivery. And just keep an eye out in the next week or so uh, in conjunction with Maxis. We'll have a couple of deals with these products. Awesome. Yeah. They got another Maxis challenge coming up? Yeah. Uh, well, the Maxis challenge is finishing this week. This is week 12. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, good to see who's going to be the winner this that's time. That's right. So, coming up in the next, uh, I think, about 10 days, they'll start announcing the top 100 and the top 50 and then the top 10. So, so. so it's November, I think it's November, end of, last weekend in November is the presentation. Okay. So it's all going to really come to an end and a new challenge will start. And then we, we, I wonder if another South Aussie is going to win it again. Yes. We've still had a good run. That's right. This, this is the last thing we have. That's the last thing we have this time. Yeah. Another new product, the Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard Gainer. So, um, this is a new generation of weight gainers that are coming out where the companies have bowed to public pressure, so they're not using cheap carbohydrates nah. uh, or cheap protein. So the protein source in this is primarily isolates, mm. but the carbohydrates are a blend of uh, oats and potatoes, yeah. uh, fats from chia. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so. Fiber. Exactly right. So it's a good quality gainer. Mm. You're going to pay a little bit more for it than the cheaper gainers. So instead of having to buy a good quality protein and then your own carbs and putting them together, it's already in the hot one. That's bag. right. A lot of people look at these things and oh, this is a weight gainer. But if you're using a good a post-workout protein, these are really good post-workout protein. Well, I have carbs. If you're not getting a meal in for a little while after training, but you're going to get your protein in the carbs. Yes. Yeah. And for a, a limited time, until sold out, each bag comes with one of these giant shakers. It's a, a one liter shaker, specifically designed 
for well, the big servers in weight gains. Yeah, shit, that's big. So like, even like but at the moment, they're very limited. Optimum uh, centers only a few, so we've got those at the stores. They only come with a bag. Buy the bag, you get one of those for a limited time until we run out. It's a good shaker. It's a big shaker. I mean, that's what you'd want while you're training. Well, that's right. It's huge. <laughs> and it's hard. And it's good quality, yeah, it's thick. It's yeah. not gonna break if you drop it. Yeah, no, that's good. Good lead. Yeah. Oh, it's even got a little bother. Beautiful. That's it. That's it, that was good. I thought we had nothing to talk about. That's a fair bit. Yeah. Mm. That's it. We'll call it that. We'll catch you guys next week. Go Donald. <laughs> <laughs> Stay humble and don't be knob. See you later.